What's going on guys? Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We all have a lot to be thankful for even in this crazy year of 2020 when it seems like basically nothing goes correct and if you made a plan it probably got changed somehow some way. I think everybody can comprehend that one. Uh, let's talk about heat pumps for just a minute while I'm uh, driving down the highway here. Sorry for the audio and video. I'm just doing this off of my phone. So, But I had a quick thought that I wanted to pass along to everybody that I feel is very important. Um, I had a, a situation with a system that I put in uh, about three or four years ago. It's just a super basic little train, 16 sear, ductless, mini split heat pump system. Um, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. It's actually at my grandmother's house. We were having an issue with it uh, last week and I finally got out to our ranch to have a look at it yesterday while we were doing Thanksgiving. Um, and let me give you the scenario as to what was going on uh, and this will help paint a bigger picture as to why we were getting this error code. And the error code was E8, Echo 8. And if you look in the troubleshooting manual, basically that error code means that we were having a high temperature high pressure situation on the outdoor unit or primarily the compressor um, and the scenario is uh, or the situation is is my grandmother is keeping the home very very warm she likes it warm nowadays um, so she had the thermostat <laughs> turned up to the high 70s and I think that she even had it set at 81 or 82 which is well above typical temperatures that most people would keep their homes or buildings at. So keep that in mind first. And then second of all, uh, I have not serviced this system since I installed it three or four years ago. I, I clean the filters oh, every handful of months when I'm out there messing around, if I think about it, uh, which, you know, my bad, the air conditioning guy not taking care of stuff. Shocker, right? Uh, or your own stuff. Uh, so her filters were clean. The indoor coil is pretty clean, uh, but the blower wheel, super dirty. If you look at the cupping on the louvers, about half of that cupping was packed full of dirt. Um, that is going to dramatically decrease the air moving across that indoor coil and moving around the space. So what is that gonna do? When you decrease the amount of air moving through that indoor unit, you are going to start to not remove the heat off the refrigerant that was picked up outside. When you do not remove that heat off that refrigerant efficiently, you are going to then raise the temperature and the pressure of that refrigerant. And then you're sending it back outside to that compressor um, where it is going to uh, go back into the compressor. That situation will cause the compressor to start to overheat. Um, and that's basically it. And so what I wanna to stress to everyone is when you're looking at heat pumps in general, whether it be a split system, a package unit, uh, uh, or a mini split, uh, whatever the case may be, airflow is crucial on heat pumps. They seem to be, or at least I've always found this in the past 20 years, Heat pumps are very, very sensitive to airflow issues, much more so than when they are in the cooling mode. While airflow is extremely important in the cooling mode and must be basically perfect for optimal performance and efficiency, I think when you, when you switch it into the heat mode, uh, problems are, are magnified, if you will. At least that's what I've found over the years. Um, it doesn't take a lot to make a compressor not very happy with you. Um, and the same thing with your charge. Uh, if you have a little bit too much refrigerant in a heat pump system, doesn't take much, uh, especially in warmer ambient conditions, uh, for that compressor to really start getting hot. Not good for them. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Just wanted to run that past everyone. Uh, key things to take away, airflow, airflow, airflow. Cannot stress it enough. Under all situations, airflow is crucial to correct performance and optimal uh, efficiency of the equipment so if you guys found this uh, video helpful uh, hit the like button if you got any questions comments leave them down below I'd, I'd love some feedback and we'll see you on the next video